and we got a um, 10 by 20 unit this one here paid um, $1,660 for so it's hard to get much cheap the last unit I got the one that I paid 260 bucks for that one was what I call a sleeper unit everybody was asleep on that one and just obviously you don't know what's in these things but just based off of the amount of boxes and everything that was in that last one it went really really cheap and um but it's that time of year that if you're not willing to pay a few bucks you're just not gonna get anything all right so this card here the one that was in the case apparently is worth some money here's one that it sold for 148 dollars those are different ones that one sold for 161 dollars that's the identical card that one sold for well they accepted all 97.91 so i don't see any of them that are not close to 100 look at this this one right here because i think this one's been graded this one sold for 510 dollars opening up the bedroom box here we get a Bobo Fett little drink thermos type deal here that's cool what is this 53rd third quarter 1969 so some kind of military thing from 1969 I think candle it's been burned a little bit we got some Star Wars only men's natural soap only hope soap and then we got some dr. Squatch Ooh, look at this. It is a um, Why am I drawing a blank on what these are called Oh, it's Stein, but it's a Star Wars Stein this is really cool So that's a nice little find there This is a, a USS Arizona Memorial, so from Pearl Harbor. It's in the box here. Dynamite, dyna, dynamiteerc.com. So some kind of a tool here. There are little bits. Whoop, that little piece just fell out. This that might be pretty expensive. A lot of times those little specialty tools like that are pretty pricey. All right, there's something. What is this that's wrapped up in here? Let's see. <laughs> okay, it's a Santa. Look, like it was gonna be something really, really neat, but just kind of a basic Santa. All right, more tools. Oh, this is a, we got a Milwaukee battery powered saw. This is another one. So two Milwaukee saws. And then down in here, we got all kinds of, we got DeWalt chargers, Milwaukee chargers, there's some batteries, a light. Let's see, the last battery, time I put a battery in, it worked. I wonder if this one, let's see. <clears throat> This one, I don't know if the button's jammed or what. It feels like it's not sliding over the way it should. I don't know. We'll have to play with that one some more. But, but regardless, more good tools. Looks like some picture frames. What is this? Some kind of fancy keyboard. Futuristic looking. It's a game game DS keyboard. Some of these gaming keyboards can be pretty pricey. I don't know about that one. That's a United States Marine ornament. I got a United States. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yes. And son did serve in the Marines. 
Just in case you're wondering, I've had people ask, no, I'm not Ann's son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has another son that does other stuff. A Bluetooth grill? Okay. All right, one more box here, and then we will... After this box, as you can see, there's a lot of furniture, but then there is some more boxes in the back. Oh, there are. But it's mostly a big... All kinds of chairs and stools and everything here. And ladders. And ladders, yeah. Both there, sides. <laughs> there's a grill, but there is another batch of boxes all the way in the back corner back there. But let's see what's in this last... This one says... This one says Marine on it. Speaking of marine, that's what it says on it. Is it marine stuff of some sort? Then in there it says lamp gla lamps glass. But that may be what it is. There's a picture frame. Griffin. A little um, lantern thing there. I don't see. Is this a marine flag maybe? Looks like it. Yeah. yeah and the, so we have a crucible on it. That's oh, it what does. they do with the. Oh, and that yeah. said that, yep, yeah. Delta 1078. Yeah. So that is some kind of marine. There's a little flag here. Okay, so there's some marine stuff. Here's some marine chimes. Another another little lantern, some flags. So, so there's yeah. some marine. I don't know what Griffin, I'm it's their last name, I guess. Yeah. All right, behind this door here, I saw something. I thought it was just a toolbox. But look, it's a little wooden chest hidden back there. So I wonder, did they put tools in it? Or is there going to be something else back there? Let's get this door moved out of the way, and then we will see. This door is heavy. All right, here is the little wooden chest that was sitting right there behind that big barn door. So we're going to open it up and see. There was tools around it. See, there's more tools sitting over there. So... See if they put tools in here or what. Or it could be just a bunch of old paperwork. Yeah. All right, let's see. Just paper, paper, a Luke Bryan <laughs> CD, and it's not even, you know, there's like a homemade CD. There's pictures, cards. So it's all like just sentimental stuff. We have a little broken figurine. All right, is there anything under here? Oh, looks like it's all just gonna be pictures. There's a little, there's a little silver looking ring there. Oh, we might have a piece of gold, maybe. I don't know. This says, it looks like it's gold, 10 carat. So there is a gold ring in here. So a 10 carat ring. Cool no. <laughs> this box is cool, even though yeah. it needs to be reattached to the hinge. Look at this box here. It's a um, San Francisco Music Box Company. All right, let's look at more pictures. A lot of pictures. The Wallflowers ticket stub. Um, one of these, uh, what is this? Willow tree. Yeah, willow tree figures. Those worth a couple dollars. Some cheap glasses. Oh, Swavorsky. And you want to look in that and see if there's anything in there? I'm just going to check that there. And to see if there's anything down in the bottom of this. There is a dime. There is a dime. Oh, it's like a little mask there. Alright, I think that's about about it anything Green in there. Is not there so that's empty here's a is this a necklace or no, I think this is a bracelet all right so empty on that so all that we did find a gold yeah, ring all right we're trying to get this scooter out of the unit so the bad thing is is it's got this pretty big drop out of there so i'm trying not to get it stuck in the bottom or scrape that bottom too hard so we're gonna see if we can go down these two little pieces of wood here and and strong but she's not like man strong so i think we're gonna just push these off all 
All right, we're kind of <laughs> kind of lifting that. I think it's gonna work, maybe. It's working right now. We're going down. All right, let me get around there. Oh, it's working. And this was Ann's idea, by the way. I was. She saw the pieces of wood. We're good. We're good. Yep. She saw the wood there, and she said, "Oh, maybe they use that." And she was probably right. That's probably what they did. So it worked for us. We were down. Now we just got to go up the ramp. I was just worried about dropping off that ledge yeah. and getting like stuck, like that concrete stuck up underneath it or on something. All right, back here. we're trying to move some of this furniture out now. I moved this chair, and as soon as I moved it, look what I can see back there. There's a big, big green egg sitting back there. Big green egg, normally big money, unless it's in really bad shape. The only bad thing is big green eggs are really heavy. <laughs> and I see other compressor. I see another saw. It looks like another DeWalt saw back there. More ladders. One, two, three. And then there's two over there. There's at least five ladders back there. I broke this chair. I'm sorry. No, these have ejection. Look, these seats it hit me in the face. have ejection things <laughs> on them. You press the button here. If your kids are behaving, boom, shoots them out. I, I don't know why, I guess. Slapped me in the face. And I guess you hide your silverware? Put your silverware and a napkin in a place. <laughs> but that Ann says she was holding that thing and it flipped up and hit her in the face. Yeah, I broke it. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I've ever seen chairs that flipped up and had storage like that. Man. It's odd. All right, furniture wise, we've got four of these chairs here. Look like they're in good shape. Four of these metal chairs here. Um, one, two, three, four, oh, six of those. Yeah. Six of the chair that smacked Ann in the face. I don't know if we have any tables for anything. That's a, there's a tiny tabletop, but I don't know what that would be for. Maybe to put those. Wait a minute. There, no, there's a bunch more of these silver chairs. There's four more. There's eight of the silver chair, metal chair. And then look here. We got a bench. This is nice. A wooden bench. We got a TV stand. Two TV stands. One nightstand. We have a vintage, like, antique bed here. It's like a full size. Here's a red chair on the middle. That's a coffee table over there. Here, this is a here, foldable. Here. That's not, that's the same covering, but it's foldable. Oh. Okay, so it's almost like the other one, but this one, instead of the that opening, the whole thing folds. So we got a lot of variations of chairs here. Hey, look, that's actually a different chair. That's just yeah. a regular wood yeah. chair back there. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah. All these chairs, there's no, no tables though, really. <laughs> that's because that's a coffee table that's on its side right uh, there. Yeah. But no dining table as of, as of yet. All right, right now, me and Ann have a theory about this unit. We don't know for sure. This is just a guess. But the lady up in the office yeah. said... When she's talking about the person that had this unit, she was like, she's been a pain. She, she said she. There's been no real woman stuff in this unit. It's either been, there was the stuff that was the little girl, Alyssa. Everything else looks more like a man. The tools and all that stuff. Tools. Um, you sell the ladders and the tools back there and everything. The grills. And then on the furniture, you have all these chairs. So we're, this is what we're thinking. That maybe they were going through a divorce so she went and got all his tools and all his stuff. Because the clothes, a lot of the clothes were men's clothes. And that also she got the tools, but then she also, she couldn't get all the furniture by herself. So she grabbed all the chairs from the house or whatever and put them in here because she could carry those. And then, so then he couldn't have a complete set to do anything with. He would just be left with just a table. Yeah, the bigger tools, like should their own wheels. That's just, we don't know for sure. That's just a theory on, because there's no tables. And then none of the furniture is really big. So even like this living room type furniture is all these small chairs. There's no sofa, no big mattresses, no big dressers. It's all smaller to medium sized furniture. And then like man stuff, lawnmower, grills, tools. Yeah, so all this stuff can be picked up and carried with, you know, a couple of people. But we don't know. That's just our guess as of right now. All right, we're back here on the back wall. We've got all the furniture moved out. Some good pieces of furniture. Lots of chairs, no tables. But we're here to this nice Cuisinart grill. It's got the Bluetooth probe. So I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but it looks like maybe you put the probe in the meat 
and then it'll tell you what your meat temperature is like to your phone that's what i'm guessing maybe it does more than that i don't know but i can but based off of those probes there i think there might be another grill behind this but as you can see what we got in we got an echo trimmer here nice looking echo trimmer we got a ryobi blower rigid shop back we got levels back there more tools sitting around here's a machete oh. got the machete another dewalt um miter saw air compressor look rigid tools more tools under there it looks like fishing rods there's another dewalt box so lots of tools mini fridge ladders coolers and then yes the um big green egg and i'm thinking that this is a table actually i know now because i can see the hole this green egg would set down into this wooden table oh you know what actually i can tell what this is now i think that's a black stone it's some kind of griddle grill but i think that's going to be a black stone back there because i can see that that part right there looks like the top you know that folds up oh look at that back there too whole big roll of romex wire down there so a lot of a lot of good stuff back here a lot of big ticket items as we're getting back here to the back so the, it looks like the high price was justified and this one's going to be good because there's so many so much just a lot of 10 to 50 dollar items and then there's bigger ticket than that but there's so many kind of in that 10 to 50 dollar range in this unit and that just adds up so quick besides the little stuff that you know a few dollars at a time but there's just a lot of and then there's a lot of hundred dollar plus items in this thing too yeah, the fishing poles, I hadn't really looked close, but look, Abu Garcia. Um, that's a slingshot. So these are all good rods and reels here, not not real cheap. That is a Zeb, Zebco, but some of the Zebcos are all right. Zebco slingshot. That's and that's a little Shakespeare. Sticks. But that Abu Garcia are good, yeah. The ugly stick there. Which one is that on? It's on a Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah that one right there. Yeah. All right, back here, look at this. We got the tool mother load. Is that what this is back here? We've got... Look at all these rigid battery powered tools. We got a Ryobi battery powered nail gun. Look at all these. DeWalt sander. There's another Milwaukee tool. There's a Bosch, um, gosh, what do you call this thing again? Router. Here is a Porter cable, cable sander. I mean, there's more down in there too. Here's a Bosch jigsaw. There's more tools down in there. And then over here, we get, look at all these cases. Let's see. Is there stuff in the cases? Here's a Milwaukee case. It's not real, real heavy, so I don't know. Yeah, Milwaukee drill. It's a DeWalt case. Now this one feels pretty, pretty light. I mean, it could be, okay, that's not in there, but it's probably, the tools here, there's all kinds of DeWalt tools that have been in this unit so far. Um, these are stacked up. I don't know if I can get these out because they're stacked all the way up into the, up into that table. Here we go. All right, this has some weight to it. That is in there. Oh, look at that DeWalt drill battery and charger, 18 volt. I'll close those later. Try to go through these without taking up so much time. Here's a big Milwaukee tool. Ooh, look at this thing right here on this cutter. But it's a corded bandsaw. This is arrow, so probably oh, it says it's a Brad Nell gun. It feels like it's in there. Yep, it looks pretty nice and clean. We're still going here. Another DeWalt. I'm gonna run out of battery here. It's on my camera. Man, nice jigsaw there. There's one, one more on this shelf. DeWalt nail gun. Man, a lot of nice tools. Here's a tackle box. We already got the fishing poles out. Let's see if this thing. Is it going to be loaded down? Why is it not opening? Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where is it still? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
That goes like that. That goes like that. There it is. It's probably just been closed so long. And we do have some... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not loaded, loaded, but there is a good amount of stuff. There's reels and hooks. We got all kinds of stuff down here. Hooks, line. We got rubber worms. All right, we set the big green egg down. We're trying to get all this off so we can get the table in there. We got the top. We got those top pieces. Only one issue with the green egg. It's not a huge issue, but on this insert on the inside, as you can see, it is cracked. That is not this part. But just that insert on the inside. It can still be used um, as is, but that could also be replaced, that insert in there. And then back here, trying to clear this stuff here. I don't know what's in these boxes yet. Mini fridge. I don't know if there's anything in those yet. But there was a DeWalt table saw on top of all the other tools we've been finding. Looks pretty nice. Also, this was sitting on t over here in near this. It's big Milwaukee drill. Look at this angled drill. That thing is nice. So really, the only thing left to really see what we got is this big pile right here. All right, got all these boxes down back here. The coolers that were on top, they're empty. These things right here, they're full of heavy stuff. Anne's just making them look right. like they're nothing. No, not really. <laughs> they're empty too. At least that one was. I think they all are, just the way they, they feel. But we've got one, two, three, four, five boxes. I'm gonna look in real quick here. I already got them cut open. I'm on the phone now because the camera battery died. I don't have time to charge it. We're trying to get out of here. So this says G cell boats. So what it looks like is like a decorative, you know, like a decorative wood cell boat. This is what this is right here. As you can see, pretty cool look in there. Back up a little bit. But it looks like there's like this one and then there's at least two more down in there. And then there is a book on sailing. I don't know if they had like a, a room they decorated with sailboats or something. And then this wooden wall art world map. So that's pretty cool. Some nice little decor there. The next box, here's another one that says Alyssa, which, you know, we've been finding a lot of manga books and video games and stuff like that in there. What is this? Sony headphones. It feels like it's empty. I'll have to open it and make sure. Oh, right. This is um, Doc Martens, right? I don't see. Yeah, there it is. Doc Martens. And these are really clean, very light wear. Well, Doc Martin platform shoes, those are nice. Very pricey. And very in style right now with young people, so this should should be easy to sell. Some kind of little box here. I'll open that in just a second. Other than that, we're gonna have some funky clothes. Got a brand new little Rubik's Cube here. Yep. Um what else? Ooh. Cracker Barrel game. Peg game you can find out if you're an ignoramus or you're a genius when you play that game. It's hoping that, that we would find the Nintendo Switch somewhere in one of these. There's a um, Himalayan salt lamp. Here's a Pokemon. This looks like a party favor kind of thing. I don't know. Clothes, is it only clothes in here? Oh, Piggy, 60 minute kitchen timer. So, all right. So not a whole, whole lot going on there, but those pair of Doc Martens are pretty nice. Oh, Ann says that this one is not empty. I don't know what it is. Um, it's a snake. What is this? <laughs> Um, okay, I think this may be... Barn. What in the world is it? Oh, it's, it, I think this is like a weighted rope, maybe? To exercise oh. with? One of those big heavy ropes? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yep, what's the metal pole down there? I don't know what the metal pole, but I'm pretty sure this is, um, like a heavy exercise rope. Like those CrossFit people? Yeah, you put it, you lay it out, and then you do your, you know flip it up and down and the weight of it will kind of give you a workout 
All right, this one right here, Brian's getting beefed. We don't know what that means. I don't know if we want to know what it means, but we already kind of saw down in here. It looks like it's just, um, there's a little key finder, but there's DVDs, and then there's some vintage handheld games here. Head-to-head -head football. There's a Mattel Electronics Football 2. Um, electronic quarterback. Some of these are missing the battery covers, so they got tape over them. Oh, we got some ammo here. 22 Thunderbolt Remington. I think it feels like it's full. It says 500 rounds. Oh, wow. 22 long rifle round. I mean, that thing is... I don't know if they took any out of there or not, but it's pretty full. Looks like down in the bottom, looks like a Jenga game fell out. And then we got P90X. And just various DVDs and stuff. And is this... Oh. Yep, this is the actual... I thought it was a toy at first, like for a BB gun or whatever, but... And then it's got the Smith & Wesson logo on it. I have not seen any signs of any guns besides that, besides that ammo there. But that's a nice little find right there on this ammo. All right, almost there. This box and then that box. Hey, Ann, see what's in that little plastic box right there, that little cube? Some kind of toy or something, I guess. We got a little Just Trucks die cast. What's down here, a watch box? It's a G-Shock box, but I don't think there's nothing in it. Is this the watch here? Yep, here's the G-Shock watch. Oh, it's like a um, Minecraft thing. Ooh, what is that? Some I kind think of it's that magic sand Magic stuff. sand stuff? Yeah. Okay. But I think it's Minecraft yeah. and then the magic sand. Okay. Wasn't sure what that was, but... Rhino Blue, 99,000 99, time, size, and stamina. And then like some bathroom stuff done in there. And then, um, yeah, I wasn't sure if those were in. I think it's empty, but I might slide that up and see. Empty, yeah, I thought it was empty, didn't it? Had a little bit of weight, but those are hard to tell because those boxes are heavy. Now this last box here, I think, is paint supplies. There's a Craftsman tool bag down in there, but just a bunch of um, paint supplies and then maybe some other hand tools possibly down in there. Yeah, I can see art. Oh, there's a nice DeWalt framing hammer. Screwdrivers, little pry bar. So lots of tools, painting items, Worcester paintbrush, sheetrock saw. It's pretty heavy, so I think there's a bunch of hand tools down in there. All right, so we we're just going to work on now finishing this up. we got to get that table in. Never did see the switch unless we missed it. Hopefully, maybe we will find it. Saw several um, game cases, but they were all empty. Maybe we'll find that they're usually like in a little, like a little tiny binder, like one that holds CDs, but sometimes it can be really small because the games are like little memory card sizes. But I'm trying to think. I think that's pretty much it. A bunch of Coke bottles. That whole thing right there is full is full of Coke bottles, but most of them, most of those just aren't worth much. Not nothing to get too excited about. But there's all kinds of them, from Braves ones in Georgia, you know, like local teams to the, to you know more worldwide Olympics and stuff like that. Um, all kinds of vintage and some of them not so vintage Coke bottles. But overall, the unit looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. I'll have to see what see what I'm going to be able to do with the scooter, how I'm going to sell that. But plenty of big ticket items, lots and lots of tools. Got that really good Pokemon card. There could be another one, but that one card there potentially worth 500 bucks. There was one graded that went for 500 bucks. I think I'm going to have it graded just to see. But um, that's it for now. As you can see, we're packing it in. We got to get the we got to get this last little bit on there. So I'm going to sit here and watch while Ann packs away. Okay, I'll be up there in just a second. So that's pretty much it. For real though, and I'm not going to let Ann just do it all by herself. I'm going to help her out.
and we're gonna get this thing loaded up and be done here. All right, there was two of these boxes in the unit that, that we'd never opened up at the unit. You know, I didn't know if there was some kind of artwork or what in them, but it turns out there's two, it's pretty good right here, two of these Samsung curved computer monitors. Really nice. They got the stands, they got all the cords and everything. We brought all that stuff back to the store here a couple days ago, been going through it. And let's see, see if I can show anything that we found that we might not have shown originally. Oh, look, a little, little golden book, Pokemon book. There's all the Hot Wheels and stuff all spread out that were in that one box. Um, let's see, some of the stuff we already showed. What we got here, we got a picture of Tim McGraw, we've got racing pictures. We got a couple of cool belt buckles. I mean, that one's kind of basic, but look at this one here. <laughs> got beer and it has a built-in bottle opener. Kind of unusual, a little bit of jewelry there. And actually a Hot Wheels um, 15th birthday belt buckle. That's kind of interesting. This lamp here, I remember I saw it in the box when we were going through before and down in there. I didn't know what it was, but it's actually a Spider-Man lamp. See this little thing? This actually goes through his hands and he will hang upside down there on the lamp. And it kind of looks like a um, like a lamp post on the street. <clears throat> Let's see. Doc Martens, we showed those. Um, I think that's kind of most of what... Most of that we've already seen. Those came out of the boxes we didn't look at. Here's all the boats. Now that they're all unboxed. Got one of these little, I don't know what you call these, but these little blue balls in the net that you kind of, you know, not a cool looking sailing and sort, and just trying to find a cord, I think, for a record player we found. Um, let's see, lots of Coke bottles. Here's a few of the miscellaneous left over, but I'll show you here in a second. This record player was in one of the pillow boxes. Look at this thing. It's, it looks like it's brand new, but it's missing the cord. Uh, as far as tools, on something I'm going to keep. It's a planer right here. There's been many times where I could have used this electric planer. The pillows, the pillows actually all turned out really nice. These are really like nice, well-made deluxe pillows. There's quite a few of them here. And then if we come over here, as you can see, lots of Coke bottles, which most of these ain't worth much. But here's like a lot of like college football ones for championships we got braves all different variations of coke there's a coke light there's a half liter coke and some different stuff here's some other various sports ones there's a cal ripkin coke bottle ohio state florida state alabama here's some old bottles here this is a reproduction i think that's like a 1915 bottle when they made that but this is a reproduction but these are old right here Olympic bottles, Christmas, Vendor Holyfield. This right here is kind of cool. It's an Atlanta Olympic bottle, but it's solid crystal. Look this thing up and it goes for a decent amount. And then we got all these bottles here, and we've actually got there's a Boston one, and um, what's the other one? Las Vegas. That's a pretty cool one. And there's also one of them is a Grand Canyon one. And then we got these Super Bowl bottles here. Lots of hand tools we've been putting out. Power tools, okay, all the power tools, every single one of them works and they all run smooth. Lots of power tools. Um, all the ones with batteries work. The only thing I've got some rigid tools, battery set, that I haven't found any kind of a battery for, but there's some um, DeWalt stuff, the batteries are good. Um, Milwaukee stuff with good batteries, Porter cable. But there's some of that stuff. Oh. Earlier, I didn't know what this was, but I looked it up, figured out it's actually a fire extinguisher, fire hydrant wrench. So you can, you know, turn it off and on. What else did we find? A nice pair of Tasco binoculars here. Here's a lot of the, the manga books. We're kind of in the middle of sorting. We got a lot of sets here, and then kind of down here, we're kind of just sorting. So that's a lot of what we have found. Any other surprises back there? Oh, and did find. Where'd it go? A couple coins here that she's found. So that's, just, that's just a Kennedy 
half dollar. So look at this one right here on the 1943 half dollar here. So that's going to be silver. And this thing works. And we got these two gift cards here. We're assuming there's a very good chance that these have those amount on, amounts on them. Did you check one of them you said? No, but one of them, the way they made it where it was the bottom of the bag wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, okay. You could tell never she said, open. Anne says one of them was still wrapped up in the bag. You should tell it had never been opened. So, we're, so most like, likely both of these are good. Not 100%, but most likely. And I think that's it out here as far as anything to show. Been going through, I'm kind of sorting out all the tools right here. Sorting out the clothes, sorting through everything. Um, oh, the laptop. Laptop, the Dell, it's it's got a password, but if it's not an uh, Apple product, it's pretty easy to get past, you know, past this and reset these um, laptops when they have a password like that. Um, oh, we ended up finding the matching mouse for this. It's like a, you know, gaming keyboard. I haven't looked this one up though. I know some of these can be big money. My son, he's into all the gaming stuff, so I know some of those can be quite expensive. So, still digging. And, oh, let me go out there and show some of the furniture. Okay, the furniture, I put all the furniture out. Furniture and, like, the grills and the saw. The prices that I put on there, when I added it all up, we were right at about two grand. So, it looks like that's not including the scooter all these tools and everything and all the small stuff that i showed you that we've already started putting out in the auction so about two thousand dollars worth of of big stuff still a lot of stuff to go so we should definitely be you know probably around that five thousand dollar range which i paid 1660 by the time you have buyers premium i'm pushing to two thousand so not going to meet the you know normally i say the tripling your money but on one like this if, if you pay a big amount you don't necessarily have to triple but you definitely want to be doubling it's kind of that's kind of just your your rule of thumb so obviously if you pay 10 if you buy a 10 by 10 you only get it for 10 dollars. you don't want to just make 30 bucks because that's a lot of work for 30 bucks so you want to way more than triple on that so it doesn't always apply exactly or if you pay you know a little bit higher price you don't have to triple if you pay two grand for a unit and you make and it you sell it all for five thousand as long as it, it's, it's not just a ridiculous amount of work then you're doing good but kind of an average unit you know if you're paying you know 500 bucks you definitely want to make at least 1500 to make it worth your time so that's kind of that's the rule of thumb but it's you know it doesn't fit every single circumstance so this one's going to turn out turn out pretty good it looks like and um a few things that i've kept i've kept well there were some shirts in there that fit me that planer a couple of the coins couple other little small tools that I kept and everything so oh and then some stuff that I sent up to um Leah's booth I let her have to put in her booth so so probably it might you know like I said about five grand might be a hair over that but still digging we'll see what else we find here all right Ann's over here being um Cheech and Chong over here what'd you find Ann you got a you got a Yeti little cup here yep. that looks like a can one of them yep. things and when I opened it this was inside of it. She had a little pipe for smoking um, different substances. And then some oregano here in a bag. So I guess, you know, some people like to cook oregano in those and pipes right there. Oh, and then, you know, or put their oregano in their Yeti. Because, you know, the Yeti yeah. will keep ice for so long. So <gasps> it'll keep your oregano fresh, fresh. for a pretty long yeah, time, yeah. too. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell like any oregano that I've smelt, though. Well, you know. Maybe because that's because it's so fresh from being in the yeti i think it stinks but another <laughs> storage auction find here there you go <laughs>